Okay. Is Anthony Priscilla doing some more uh, probability and statistics with my class? Ted is not particularly creative. He uses the pickup line. If I could rearrange the letters, I'd put U and I together. The random variable is the number of girls Ted approaches before encountering one who reacts positively. Determine whether the table describes a probability distribution. If it does, find its mean and standard deviation. Well, in order for this to be a standard uh, probability distribution, the sum of these probabilities here needs to be what? Well, it needs to be 1. So do all of these numbers add up to give us 1? That's what we need to know. So let me see. Let me move this over. Let me put my calculator here. Ooh, a little bit of a glare. And we're just going to add up those numbers and see, does it give us 1? So, 0 0.002. Ooh, a bit of a glare, isn't it? Plus, so just add these numbers, plus 0 0.025, plus 0.125, plus 0.262, plus 0.214. I'm just adding up these ooh, numbers, and look, it only equals 0.628. Which means this table is not a probability distribution. So we'll say B, table's not a probability distribution. And B, we can't calculate uh, the mean or the standard deviation because it's not a probability distribution. Now, here's another probability distribution. Or table, let's see if it is a probability distribution. Assume that 12 jurors are selected from a population of which 50% of the people are Mexican American. The random variable X is the number of Mexican Americans on the jury. Well, if we went ahead and added all of these up, it does equal 1, so this is a probability distribution. And notice, it doesn't give you the option, not a probability distribution, okay? Find the probability that exactly two Mexican Americans, find the probability of exactly two Mexican Americans among 12 jurors. Well, half the people are uh, Mexican Americans. The probability of only two of the 12 people being Mexican American should be pretty small, and it is. It's 0 0.016. Then it asks, okay, find the probability of two or fewer. So two or fewer would be either two, one, or zero. So if we add up 0 0.016, 0 0.003, and I guess we'll put 0 0.000 just for illustration purposes. If we add these three numbers together, we get 0 0.019. Oh, the motion sensors turned off the light again. So we have 0 0.019 and point, no, point zero one six for exactly two, point zero one nine probability two or fewer, which probability is relevant for determining whether two jurors among 12 is unusually low? Well, would it be the part, the answer from part, a, uh, wait, no, part B it says first, because it's two or fewer, or the answer from part A, because it's exactly two? Well, it would be part A, because two or fewer would be used to determine if uh, two jurors was unusual, okay? Is two an unusually low number of Mexican-American jurors among 12? Why or why not? 
Well, yes, it's a very small probability to have two or fewer uh, jurors. And so notice it's much, it's not anywhere close to 5%. So is uh, two an unusually low uh, number of Mexican Americans among 12 jurors? Yes, because the relevant probability is less than, sure not equal, but it's less than or equal to 0 0.05. Okay, so that would be B there.